So in this video we're going to be looking at a anterior view, a coronal section of the ear. When we look at the ear we can actually divide it into three parts. There's an external ear, there's going to be a middle ear, and then if I remove this piece of the temporal bone we're looking at the inner ear. Okay. So this outer portion of the ear is called the auricle. This is what brings in sound. Sound then enters into our skull at this point right here, the external auditory meatus. And this external ear continues all the way until we get to this side of the tympanic membrane, the lateral side of the tympanic membrane. On the medial side of the tympanic membrane, we are now in the middle ear. And this takes us all the way to another membrane structure called the oval window. But this middle ear is where we have the three auditory ossicles. So we have the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. The malleus is what vibrates up against the tympanic membrane. The incus is what vibrates from the malleus. And then we get to the stapes. This is also where we see the pharyngotympanic tube, also called the auditory tube or the eustachian tube. This is what leads down into our nasopharynx and our throat. Okay? So we see basically sound vibrations coming in, vibrating against the tympanic membrane, vibrating against these three auditory ossicles from lateral to medial, malleus, inca, stapes. We have three on one side, three on the other, so obviously these are the six smallest true bones that we have in the body. And then when we get into the inner ear, we're basically looking from what's just beneath the stapes bone as the oval window all the way in. Now this is what we refer to as the bony labyrinth. So, so this is kind of like a bone sitting within the temporal bone. And this is largely divided up into three parts. We have a vestibule in the middle here. And on one side of the vestibule we have the semicircular canals. This is what's involved in dynamic equilibrium. And as sound waves come in they can also travel to the cochlea the cochlea is the snail shell. This is involved in hearing. So these sound waves are going to go through and vibrate through this, this area here. And then there's also an exit point of those vibrations. So the entry point would be the oval window, which is just beneath the stapes. The exit point would be the round window on the bottom side of the vestibule here. You'll notice right now I'm pinching a nerve supply. The nerve supply that's coming from the cochlea is the cochlear branch. This nerve supply here coming from the vestibule is the vestibular branch. And the cochlear branch and the vestibular branch make up cranial nerve number eight, the vestibulocochlear nerve.